story we're following, some HISD parents not happy with the change for the upcoming school year. It involves the launch of a magnet school hub program in which buses will pick up and drop off students at designated hub locations. But some parents say it creates a lot of problems. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live now at Sharpstown International School, one of the designated hub locations. Brandon? And Lauren, the easiest comparison here would be to think of this as a park and ride program. How many of these hub locations we're talking about? Nearly 50, and they're separated amongst four quadrants here within HISD's coverage area. All of that to cover the 100 some odd magnet school programs here. HISD tells us that they researched extensively on this, looking at similar programs in Broward County, Florida, as well as programs in North Texas. But parents say it's not good enough, this move to change how their kids get to school and some of them fear they won't be able to get their children to school. Right now our buses have uh, multiple pickups. Uh, they're not only picking up magnet students but they're picking up neighborhood students. So and if you're HISD you say that method is inefficient. The school district's transportation office posted this video to social media explaining the new hub system for getting magnet school students to and from school. Having fewer stops will allow us to not only get the kids there on time. The announcement came yesterday. HISD says the hub system doesn't exclude children. It allows them to transport them faster. But parents? There's no hub for her to go to. Like Ashley Washington feared the change simply makes matters worse. Her daughter is in fourth grade, attends Coulter Elementary, but lives in an area where the nearest hub pickup spot doesn't come close. They've completely left out the entire Fondren Myerland area off of this hub list. That appears the biggest concern among parents, distance from home to hub. Nearest hub is about a mile and a half away, so it's too far for him to walk. I'm not comfortable with that. A lament on logistics. Access to, says Nadine Castile. Her son attends a magnet program. She's also a teacher at a school pegged underperforming. So she says she helped get some of her students enrolled in magnet schools. And these are middle schools that can absolutely change the direction of their lives. And now I'm really nervous and worried that they're not going to be able to continue this path because HISD isn't going to provide them the transportation to get where they need to go. And she's talking about students whose parents may not have a car or the car is being used so they can't get them to one of those designated spots. Now, we also had the opportunity to speak with HISD about this. They say they understand these concerns, including another concern among parents, which what if I have multiple students in multiple magnet programs? How do I get them to different designated hub pickup spots? The district says that they hear this, they've heard this rather, and they're trying to do more with less. So they're hoping to ease this program and get it started and make changes, hopefully down the line as they iron out the kinks here. We'll keep you posted on this one. We are live for you tonight in Southwest Houston. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Nice explanation, Brandon. Thank you, sir. You can view a map, if you would like, of the Magnet School Hub locations on click 2 You'll find it posted with Brandon's story under our news section.